Man, I'm gonna talk about something that really means a lot to me today. In today's society, marriage is, is looked at as like old school. Like, men and women like to play the field nowadays and wait until they're in their 40s to get married. After college fun, after work is successful, after making money, I mean, just pretty much being selfish. We live in a time of sin. It's never been so easy to date, have sex, get drugs, watch porn. Let's keep it real. Playing the field has never been this easy. We hold it in our hand, our phone is sin. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I was picked to my back for my shoelaces. Got out, should have seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger in the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling. Six time failing, I went back to prison. Got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to give back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone, I ain't never. What's up guys, my name is JC, I am Wrong is Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, mi familia, mi raza, you already know what time it is. So <laughs> tell us because we're about to go see Jesus. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Wrong is Strong. All in your name, all in your glory. Thank you Jesus for what you did on the cross for me. Thank you for my new heart, thank you for my marriage, for my life, for my family. Thank you. <laughs> Genesis chapter 2 verse 18. Today marriage has uh, taken a hard hit. It's falling on hard times. Couples live together without committing to marriage. It's a norm. I know, I did it for years. I didn't know better. It's called cohabitation. The state of living together and having sexual relationships without being married. I lived like this for years because it was what was normal in society, but it's, it's not normal and it's not acceptable to God. Look, I talk about things like this because I lived it and I know the consequences of living with it and I know the consequences, the blessings of doing it the right way. This is why I talk about it. I had no idea how important marriage was to my Lord and Savior. I wanted to do everything right. So as soon as I became saved, I got married to my wife. I got baptized. I started telling people about Jesus. There's certain things that make him happy about the gifts that he's given us. Marriage is a gift that he gave us. God says it's worthy of honor. Sex and marriage is a beautiful gift and expression of the intimate and unique love that exists between a husband and a wife. It's, it's a beautiful, it's something beautiful. Something that's only shared between two people. Not three, not four, not five, not six. 
Sex with someone other than your wife is adultery. Did I say that right? <laughs> you know me, I can't talk. <laughs> Sex outside of bond of marriage is fornication. Both sins are on the list of the works of the flesh. This is why I said, you know, I tell my stories because I know what it is to live on both sides now. In sin and walking with God. And those committing these sins are lost and will not go to heaven unless they repent. You're sitting against your own body and God. God's number one, but your own body. This is. This is why there's so many STDs out there. This is why there's so much bad stuff. Everybody thinks that he put all these commandments into place to like punish us or to be like this, this father that has a bunch of rules. All those commandments are put in place to protect you and me because God knew that our flesh was going to overpower us and we were going to be weak. This is why we need him first and foremost before anything. So don't violate God's will, divine will. Man, let's, let us honor the, the marriage by recognizing what it's worth. Let us show the world how we treat our, our women. Let us show the couples how we treat our wives, men of God. Let's show the world, society, that with God, we can learn to love the right way. Once you're part of the team, the family of God, we are considered saints, not sinners. Saint doesn't mean we're perfect. It's who we become when we believe. Our identity doesn't mean that we're gonna be free from our fight against sin, no. We will make mistakes in our lives. We are not perfect. There's only one perfect man, and he died on the cross for us. However, there's a big difference between being a saint who struggles with sin than being a sinner who's trying to be a saint. My name is JC. I am Wrong the Strong. Hey, don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane. Live savage. And remember, marriage. Don't have sex with her. Show her how much you respect your body, your God, and your life. That's some real gangster stuff right there. Catch you guys on the rebound.